today today peer pressure is a big deal according to wikipedia it is the direct or indirect influence from your peers all of us got peers either age related social related professional related business related we got peers and the influence of these peers has caused a lot of havoc in the world today so much that because of the pressure of not meeting up with your supposed peers many people have been relegated into isolation and cause loneliness and the enemy has taken advantage of this to buffet a lot of people what is the perspective of god about this loneliness surviving loneliness from peer pressure how do we handle prayer pressure as a believer today? How do we overcome this evil meanness in our life today? This and all we are going to be looking into today in this edition of the church in the air. This is the church in the air, a church without wall and border, setting men up with God for a glorious turnaround. This is God's favor. It's a blessing. Our God is good and his mercy is endures forevermore. Amen. And Pastor Tomawa, and I say you're welcome to today's edition of the Church in the Earth. This is a church without wars and borders, setting men up with God for a glorious turnaround. And we are super excited to be here again today. And today we are continuing on the series titled Surviving Loneliness. And we are focusing on surviving loneliness from prayer pressure. Peer pressure. Surviving loneliness from peer pressures. Let's dig into this together today, somebody. I want you to pray with me that God speak to me today. Give me insight and revelation into your words today. The anointing for faith of the gift of healing and working of miracles upon my life. And as we minister in this place today, there shall be a manifestation. I want you to say that, Father, because I connect with Pastor Tomawa today, I will receive a divine encounter. I will receive a divine visitation. Turn it into prayer at this moment. Pray that God, I pray that as as my friends, as anyone that connects to me on this message today, either like life right now on the different platform or after this message connecting to it at any time. I say because they connect to God, they shall receive a divine visitation in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach. The Lord said that God has highly exalted him and given him the name that is above every other name, Jesus Christ. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of the things in heaven, of the things on earth, and of the things under the earth. And that every thought should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. We therefore declare that this meeting is blessed in Jesus' name. I turn this teaching over to you, Holy Ghost. I cast down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. I bring every thought into captivity to obey Christ. Uh, speak to me, Lord, in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach. Speak for me, Lord Jesus Christ. Speak through me, Lord. Reach out to my friends today, God. Give us a word of peace, O oh God. Give us revelation and knowledge of your word, O oh God. Grant us insight into your word today as we look into this topic, O oh God. Touch us, O oh God. Grant us insight. Show us new things that we don't know of, O oh God. Show us a way to overcome this evil menace of loneliness, O oh God, from peer pressure. In the mighty name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. Surviving loneliness from peer pressure. Our scriptural reference is from the book of Psalm 23, verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd, until you make God your shepherd, until God become the one that is in charge of your life fully, the possibility of wanting will not be avoided. 
The second anchor scripture is what our Lord Jesus Christ says in the book of John chapter 8, verse 29. It said, and he that sent me is with me. The Lord, my, the Father has not left me alone because I do those things that place him. Our Lord Jesus Christ walk on the same earth like us. However, he overcome loneliness because he was never alone at any time. How was that possible? Because he, the father that sent him was always with him. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Why? Because it does only, it did only the things that please him. So let's look at it. Loneliness, according to Wikipedia, says, loneliness, according to Wikipedia, says that it is an unpleasant emotional response to perceived isolation. In other words, what causes your loneliness may be different from my own because it is what you perceive to be your isolation that you will not react to. And that is why loneliness is, a, is, is an evil thing that is, have, uh, that is attacking too many people today. Many people are perceiving loneliness because of anything. And today we are keen into peer pressure. Perceive loneliness because of What is peer pressure? Peer pressure is the direct or indirect influence on people of peer. I want us to look at this definition very well from in in English dictionary. There are three things that we highlight from there. From Wikipedia, I say is the direct or indirect influence on people of peer. It could be direct. Like you see, as a teenager growing up, it's a lot of problem for teenagers because their, their friends with just, you know, maybe their friend, any of them that is bolder than them, that is, you know, that, that mature faster, they can intimidate others by telling them that you can do this. And you are seeing many teenagers fall into different ill devices because of that pressure, direct pressure on them. And then it could be indirect, just looking at them. Oh, they are like this. Why am I not like that? Many people think that peer pressure is limited to just the teenage age. No, it's cut across all the spectrums of life. All of us got our peers. And that is why the first thing I want to highlight with respect to peer pressure is that people of peers, is we are related to people of peers. Everybody have your peers. I'm a pastor. You got your pastor peers. Oh, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a banker. You got your peers. Age-related, it could be age-related peers. It could be social-related peers. Oh, it could be a neighborhood. Those are your peers. It could be your professions. But all of us, are we are, we are carved out in peers. The Bible says in Acts chapter 17, verse 20, it says that God from the from the blood of one man created the nation of men and have brought us in our different geographical location or different pre-appointed time so that we through those different segments we might long towards him though it's not far from us for it is in him we live in him we move and in him we have our being so we all have our peers you must always remember that so it's not like okay i will never have a problem with peer pressure all of us will be faced with peer pressure because all of us have our peers your professional link peers everybody got peers another one that is very real is that the influence is real peer pressure influence are real so don't live in denial that no i'm not i'm not bothered by prayer pressure that is why today the lord want to show us how to overcome it peer pressure are real they are real situations they are real influence they are direct or indirect influence that is why the problem is it could be indirect they may nobody they, they may not be talking to you but right there you see that that is my mate how come it's working for him and it's not working for me 
That is my age mate. How come it's working for her and it's not working for her? We grew up together. Oh, this is my brothers and sister. These are my brothers and sisters. How come it's working for them? It's not working for me. The influence is very real. So you can't run away from it. Oh, I'm a president. That is my colleague. That is another president of another country. How come this is working in their countries? So all of us got peers and the influence is very real. And very important is that this peer pressure is affecting everybody. You must know that so that you can face it squarely. I know so many people, even mature people that because they seemingly see somebody that they think is in their peer do something they want to do it by force peer pressure affects everybody let's keep going what actually we look at briefly the a case study and is a case study of a man called jabez according to first chronicle chapter 4 verse 9 to 10 first chronicle chapter 4 verse 9 to 10 i quickly read that i pray that the time permit us first chronicle chapter 9 verse chapter 4 verse 9 to 10 it said now jabez was more honorable than his brothers and his mother called his name jabez saying because i bore him in pain and Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you will bless me indeed and enlarge my territory, that your hands will be with me and that you will keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. So God granted him what he requested. The first thing about Jabez is that, like everybody, he was not meeting up with his peers. Jabez was not meeting up with his peers because even though he has colleagues, he has peers, he has mates, things were not like the way it was with him. He was a man of sorrow. His mother cursed him because his mother bore him in pain. Mother cursed him that you shall be sorrow anywhere you go. So wherever he was going, he was always causing pain among people. That affected him a lot. Because other people around him, he see that things are working for them, but for him, things aren't working for him. Peer pressure is real. Another thing very important I want you to look at in the life of Japis is that the Bible say, and he prayed to God. I have a good news for somebody. That pressure from your peer, that peer pressure that look as if you are not meeting up with your mate. I don't know how you got to the place you are in. And it looks as if your mate has gone ahead of you. Today, the Lord is turning it around for you. The Lord that changed the story of Jake Jabez is changing your story. In the name of Yeshua Hamashiach. Say resounding amen, somebody. The Bible says Jabez pray for a change of story. And do you know what the good news is? The Bible says in that verse 10, First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 10, that the Lord granted unto Jabez everything that he requested. He asked for so many things because his problem were lost. He said that, God, that you will bless me. He said that you will bless me indeed because he lacked blessing. He was behind with his peers. He said that you will enlarge my territory. My peers are ahead of me, but I want you to visit me and change my story. He said that your hand will be upon me. He wanted a divine visitation. He wanted an encounter. And he said that you will keep me from evil because there are a lot of things that are happening to his, his mate. And he wanted a change of story. And finally, he said and that I will not cause pain again. This is what I've been known for, to cause pain. Among my peers, they know me for the negative things. Among my peers, they know me that I don't meet up. Among my peers, they know my children are not doing well. Among my peers, they know that I have marital problems. Among my peers, they know that I have academic problems. Among my peers, they know that I am not favored. That God, you might visit me. That you will bless me indeed. That we enlarge my territory. That your hand will be 
upon me. You will keep me from evil and that I will not cause pain. Right now, let somebody pray that prayer that God, I want to change your story. I don't know the pressure that you are facing. Your mates are far better than you. In what area? In any area. Today, like Jabez prayed, open your mouth and pray that God, bless me indeed. Change my story. Bless me indeed. Bless me indeed. Enlarge my territory. Let your hand be upon me. Let me keep me from evil. And that I cause no more sorrow. Many maybe the enemy has tagged you that you are the troublemaker. Oh, that evil person is coming. Oh, that troublemaker is coming. Oh, that gossip is coming. Don't let her come in. Don't let him come in. We don't want her in our clique. Have you been removed? Have you been? You know, set apart from your peer. So this your change of story. Open your mouth right now. That God change my story. Bless me indeed. Bless me indeed. Bless me indeed. Enlarge my territory. Enlarge my territory. Enlarge my territory. In the mighty name of Yeshua. Hamashiach, Jesus Christ, you have prayed. This is a case study of a, of a man under intense peer pressure. And I pray for you today that lets everything that harass you begin to turn around for you. Remember, we said three things about peer pressure is that all of us belong to a peer. We got peers everywhere. Oh, I'm a pastor. You got pastor peers. Oh, I'm a doctor. You got doctor's peer. Oh, I'm just a lady. You got your age made peer. You got your family peer. So there are, and the influence is real. It's like that direct people facing you and telling you or indirect when on your own you just start to think about the peer pressure you just start to think or devil start telling you that you know you know you know your mates are better than you look at your mate look at what they have done the pre, the influence is real and it's affecting everybody but i got a good news for somebody today that from today like the way god turned the life of jabez around god will turn your own life around every pressure every pressure caused by this peer pressure every oppression the loneliness that is caused by this peer pressure is judged in the name of jesus christ amen now let's quickly move on with our little time remaining hallelujah now what is actual the actual cause of this loneliness with respect to peer pressure we said it in the first segment we talk about the actual cause is that we are comparing ourselves with our with others either directly or indirectly now the one that makes this peer pressure worse is that it is real the pressure from the from Pierre is very real. The Lord said that in the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 10, verse 12. In the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 10, verse 12, the Bible says that but they comparing themselves by themselves and measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves among themselves. They say the Bible said they are not wise. You need to stop comparing yourself with yourself. You need to stop measuring yourself with yourself. Like we said it the last time, some reality of surviving is that our backgrounds are different. Even if you are born in the same place, I was talking with someone in the same family. I say, look at your life. The attack on your life is different from the one on your sibling's life. So even though it look as if you are in the same peer, no, you're different. Your, 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 exposition, your exposure is different. So you must always remember that your background is different. Your makeup is different. Excuse me. Your makeup is unique. The risk-taking behavior differ from one person to another. Some people, some siblings, they can be very fast to achieve things. Some, they take their time to understand before they take a step. Don't let the peer pressure weigh you down. Because the person did it first does not mean that he's doing it best. Who are you? You must understand your circumstances, your then people's health and mental capacity, they varied. We said a lot about this last time. 
And that is why you must understand that you must not compare yourself with another. Rather, you compare yourself with Jesus Christ. What is the perspective of God with loneliness? I will emphasize this again because it's so important in this peer pressure. The actual perspective of God, the actual cause of loneliness is that there is, thank you, Jesus. Oof, our time is beeping. Let's see how much we can do quickly. The actual cause of loneliness is that there is a God space in every man. That place that occupied are meant to be the place for your dominion. And when this part is not filled with God, loneliness will result. That's the actual reason. The Bible says in Colossians 1.16, it says, All things were created through Christ and for him. You are created for Christ. And as long as you are not filling that place with Christ, the loneliness, that's where the emptiness starts from. Not just because your peers are doing better than you. That is why Jabez did not just pray for he said that you bless me, that your hand be upon me. Because if you can feel, if I can feel you, God, with your space in my life, I will be blessed indeed. Colossians 2 10 said that we are complete in God. So the actual cause of loneliness is that the space of God in your life is not filled with God. And if it's not filled with God, the enemy will turn to you when he tell you that your neighbor, your friend, your peers are better than you. But when that space is filled with God, you know that, yes, you may be faster than me. You may look higher than me. Some people are higher. Some people are lower. But I am in the best place God has brought me to. I am in the blessed place. God. Open your mouth and say, I am in the best place that Jesus Jesus is making for me. It's not an excuse for you to be a mediocre. It's not an excuse for you to not to do your best. But at every point, if Jesus occupies rightful place in your life, you'll be complete in him. And it, okay, somebody has gotten this one. I say, praise God, I rejoice with you. Mine is coming. When is my right time? I will get it. Oh, somebody has made that. See your mates doing that. He say, well, God bless them for that. When is my own time? I will do it. Because loneliness will not have a place in you because you are complete in Christ Jesus because of time we will just be rounding up here the danger of loneliness we are emphasizing it again and again is that physically it may look as if you are lonely but you are not lonely meant uh, spiritually and that is one thing we are, we are saying very clearly that the enemy is taking advantage of this peer pressure and is attacking people indirectly and telling you, working on your mind, that you are not good enough, that you are not good enough, that you are not good enough. What is that evil speaking to you? And we look at it how do we survive this loneliness? It's all boiled down to your spiritual disposition part time. What you are doing with that thoughts that come to you are asking you that your mates are better than you. It is a real battle. It's a real influence. You cannot run from it. If it, they don't come to you directly and if your maybe your family, your friend don't tell you that we'll see. Where are you? Look at you. Even indirectly, devil will come to you and begin to tell you that person is better than you. That person is better than you. Look at where you are. They have gone farther than you. That person is a graduate. Oh, that person has that mansion. That person is running that business. His ministry is better than you. The devil will come in directly. How do you overcome that? Rounding up quickly. You must deal with that evil thought that devil is using. The Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10, Verse 3 to 5, that a weapon of warfare no corner, but mighty through God to pulling down strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing every thought into captivity to obey Christ. You have to cast down that thought. Remember, very important, that it is a battle. It is a battle that you have to face. Don't take it lightly. The indirect attack from peer pressure is very real to everybody. When you are sitting down, the enemy will remind you. On the social media, the enemy will remind you that you are not doing right, that you are not doing enough, that you are not meeting up, that your friends are better than you. I want you to breeze up this battle and begin to address it. That no, I am better. Remember, thoughts are not originating from you. 
the thoughts that are coming they are tools of influence if you don't address them you are submitting to them so every thought must be dealt with how do you deal with the thought the bible says you bring it into captivity to obey christ Hosea chapter 14 verse 2 you say take with you word if you don't get the word of god in your mouth this end time you will not survive this attack especially from prayer pressure the indirect attack from prayer pressure is on everybody and today you are going to be casting it down open your mouth and say i pull you down not me i am where god i am god says i am i am complete in christ jesus begin to open your mouth eh, that i'm complete in christ jesus eh. open your mouth with me because of time we are going to stop at this moment we will continue the next time open your mouth with me that i'm completing christ jesus i am completing christ jesus i am completing christ jesus begin to pray with me that i'm completing christ jesus in the beginning of the year the lord said it is empowering 2022 that i can do all things through christ that strengthens me that end on a moment open your mouth and say i have power to be i have power to have i have power to do everything god has set up for me i'm completing christ jesus open your mouth and say i'm completing christ jesus in the mighty name of yeshua hamashiach jesus christ begin to pray with me open your mouth my friend that i'm completing christ jesus open your mouth and say i'm completing christ jesus attack every harassment of peer pressure in my life say i cast you down declare that i'm complete in christ jesus if you speak the word the lord is my shepherd i shall not want it doesn't matter what i'm facing right now it doesn't matter what is not enough in my life the lord is my shepherd i shall not want and that is your portion today in the mighty name of yeshua hamashiach jesus christ amen is somebody blessed today i know that uh, we rushed this one today you may want to listen to it but as we go on in this series more understanding will be made real to us in jesus name peer pressure is real the menace of peer pressure is real either directly or indirectly it is affecting everybody so you must prepare yourself when that thought comes that you are not meeting up. Tell him that the Lord is my shepherd. Tell him that I'm complete in Christ Jesus. And things will begin to turn around for you. Give no place to that devil in your life. And therefore, I like, pray for anyone that is oppressed in their life today. Put your hand where it's hurting you. If you didn't join us during the prayer section, put your hand if you are sick in the body. Or you are there, you know that that pressure is on your, on your head. Devil has used it a lot to taunt you. Put your hand on your head and let me pray with you i break the whole of this menace over you i break the whole of prayer pressure upon you in the name of yeshua hamashiach be made whole today be made whole today open your mouth and say i'm complete in christ jesus i am complete in christ jesus so shall it be for you in the mighty name of yeshua hamashiach jesus christ we are afraid amen are you blessed today somebody we are going to finish this to just worship god with our offering today let's just worship god with our offering praise the lord land there about to send there about kuba supra clay the shots at a papalia if you go to our website and um and click on the give online you can give there or you can use the paypal or you just click on the qr code on the screen let's just give a worship and offering to god today i want you to speak to your offering and say the blessings of god rest upon it speak something to it send it on an assignment break the hold and the body of peer pressure over you it doesn't matter what your mate has achieved you will achieve your own and if you are lagging behind just like jabez that god will turn my situation around too 
If God can visit Jabez, God will visit you too today. If you are ready, then I will pray with you on your offering right now. Let us pray together. Father, we thank you. We receive with thanksgiving this offering today and we thank you for this provision, Naga. We speak the blessings of God upon the giver. Your word declared that give and it shall be given to you. Good measure, pressed and shaking together and running over, shall men give into our bosom. I speak for them. Let there be restoration of multiple folds in Jesus' name. And for everything they speak concerning that of you, let us return back to them as a testimony. In the mighty name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ, amen. One more time, thank you for that gift. We receive it with thanksgiving. And we proclaim the blessings of God upon it in the name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ. Amen. And I want to say thank you one more time for joining us in today's program. This is the church in the air, the church without words and borders, setting men up with God for a glorious turnaround. Every Thursdays we come up like this, 12, mid, 12 noon, for a teaching series. And like now we are doing this series on surviving loneliness. We will continue next time. There are a lot of ways that the enemy is harassing people with loneliness. We will deal with them in the faith perspective of it. On Saturdays, we come up also, the first Saturdays is where we do our intercessions and praying in the Holy Ghost. We pray for our nations, our leaders, and for our loved ones, for their salvation, deliverance, and divine breakthrough. Every four Saturdays, the last Saturdays is where we focus on our healing schools. We focus on everything divine healing. The mid Saturdays is our family forum where we is the life Q and A where we ask Pastor tomorrow we share, we pray, and interact together. Feel free to join us on all our different program. We also this moment when you say you want a life, you want a one on one, you know, interaction with Pastor Tomawa. You can join our life coaching, coaching.air.church, or you want to send us an email, info at air.church. And recently, we start, we have this program titled Rewards Doing Christ. You may check on our website, air.church slash rewards. It's a cool way to make some cash while you are doing Christ. Feel free to join us in all of these programs. We believe that it will be a blessing to you. Let us wrap up by declaring our confession of who you are, that the mandate of God upon your life, and that is what is expected to happen for you. Say with me that I'm fruitful. I multiply. I fill the earth. I subdue it, and I have dominion. Say it one more time. Oh, mention your name that I, tomorrow, I can judge. I'm fruitful. I feel the earth, I subdue it, and I have dominion. Say it again that I'm fruitful, I multiply, I feel the earth, I subdue it, and I have dominion. That is your portion in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach. In the beginning of the year, the Lord said it is empowering 2022. I declare that I receive the empowerment to be, empowerment to have, and empowerment to do all that God has called you to be do and have in the name of yeshua hamashiach jesus christ amen till we meet again and pastor tomawa i decree and declare that jesus christ yeshua hamashiach is lord to the glory of god the father amen amen thank you yao and god bless you shalom This is the Church in the Air, a church without wall and border, setting men up with God for a glorious turnaround.